If you are a newbie gamer, you probably want to improve your game, but finding out a way isn't easy. This will help you with some efficient tricks that make your game more fun to play. So if you want to start streaming on Twitch? Do you want to be a popular streamer, but don't know how to be one? Look no further, because I created an ultimate guide to give you an edge over the competition. Read this and receive the 7 ultimate tips that you need to succeed in online gaming streaming. Have a clear objective. Having a clear objective is not just important in life, but also when you are streaming. Having a specific goal helps to make sure that your stream is focused and makes it easier to tackle any challenges. You want to focus on first. Once you've chosen that, think about what viewers might like about those kinds of games. Uh, for example, maybe they are fun and easy for new players, but still have plenty of depth for more experienced gamers. As yours then, try something else. You can always change your objective later as well if it turns out not being very popular or isn't working out well enough. If you like this YouTube video, please give thumbs up on YouTube. Now that you've got your game and streaming setup, it's time to choose the best tools for live streaming. Choose a streaming platform that is compatible with your game and PC. You can stream from Twitch, YouTube, or Mixer, but you'll want to make sure that the platform is compatible with both your PC and video game. If you're using Discord for voice chat, make sure it's set up on whichever site slash app you choose. Choose a streaming platform that is compatible with your phone or tablet, or both. In order to use OBS Studio on mobile devices such as an iPhone or iPad, there are some additional steps necessary so they won't be compatible out of the box, but luckily this is easy. Create an amazing intro for your stream. You want something short and sweet that makes people want to stick around. Try using your own photos or videos, recordings, graphics, branding and logos. Don't forget to incorporate your colors into it too. This isn't just a matter of aesthetics, it's also about brand recognition. If you're trying to build an audience on Twitch or YouTube, YouTube gaming, or anywhere else, then chances are good that some viewers will be coming from a different platform entirely, and even if they don't know who you are yet, and therefore how best to categorize you, they'll still be able to tell whether or not their interests align with yours based on what kind of stuff shows up in front of them. When visiting your stream page for the first time, interact with your viewers and be responsive. If you want to be a successful streamer, you have to interact with your viewers. The most important thing is being responsive, which means answering questions and engaging with people in the chat. It's also important to be friendly, interactive and engaging as well as positive and a good role model for other streamers who are looking up to you for inspiration. Being responsive is especially important when someone asks a question that requires some thought on your part. It doesn't matter how long it takes for them to wait for an answer, you should take all the time necessary before responding, because this will make the audience feel like they're getting something of value from watching you stream online gaming. Live online streaming games, it helps if you're on site at home or work. Make sure to have a quality live streaming setup The quality of your stream is important. This means that you need a webcam, microphone and good streaming software. You should also make sure that your internet connection is fast enough for streaming. Use high quality audio equipment. If you want to be successful in online gaming streaming, then you need to make sure that your microphone is high quality. This will make a huge difference in how your viewers perceive you and how they react to what you are saying. There are many different types of microphones available, so it is important for you to do some research on this subject before making any purchases. You should also have headphones with good quality sound built into, into them as well, this way people can hear all of the sounds from the game easily without having to adjust their volume too, as long as they're not speaking into the microphone while wearing these headphones. Another thing that makes a big difference on how well people will listen is using a pop filter, also known as an anti-plosive filter. Whenever possible before speaking into their microphones, this can be done by putting something between them like tissue paper or cloth material over top of themselves while talking so that any popping sounds won't end up sounding like static coming back through our speakers when streaming live content. And lastly, if someone needs extra help with recording themselves while playing games via console instead then there might be additional ways provided by each title itself, check out those options before trying anything else. 
Ensuring you have a good lighting setup is one of the most important things, as it will make your stream look better and more professional. You should have a diffuser on the front of your camera so that the light doesn't glare directly into your face and make it difficult for people to see you clearly. If you don't have a diffuser or if yours has worn out over time, use a piece of printer paper or textured fabric instead. These will help diffuse the light instead of reflecting it back at you like glass or metal wood. Then set up some lights behind and in front of yourself so that they cast soft shadows on your face making things easier to see when there are multiple light sources present, such as when playing games with other people. It also helps if there is enough space between each lamp so that none are too close together, this way there won't be any shadows being cast on each other by accident. If you like my YouTube video please subscribe to my channel and hit bell icon to get future updates on my YouTube videos.